own. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what money we can raise. We've got to do something. We can't just go home. On the back of that, eight days later, we organized a fundraising in King's Eve. It was phenomenal. People from the streets were coming in. Those that couldn't stay just came in and said, here's 20 pounds, here's 30 pounds, here's 10 pounds. We've got to give money. Take the money and do what you think we need to do for Palestine. And that's how we did it. Last night, two hours, maybe three hours, 750 pounds, people gave their money. We, we raised the money from gifts, from cake making, from jewelry selling. We also had members of our group and members from our community that read poetry. We had children, our nieces, our nephews, who were so moved and angered and upset. They sat and they wrote poetry and they came and recited their poetry in support of our movement against what's happening. One of the points that I made yesterday is at my age now, I have seen this struggle from, for 30 years. I have seen how the anti-apartheid movement got to achieve what it did at the time. What I would like to see is the anti-Zionist movement get to, to reach at that level. Let's make it a popular movement. Let's get the children. And we can do it. Because today in London there's a demonstration, here there's a demonstration, every day somewhere in England people are doing something against the atrocity, we're raising our voices. So let's unite in that, because you know what, we can win and we will win. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! I think I've got an announcement to make. The parents of people, or the parents who are missing their children, there are police standing there. Could you please go and talk to them, give them your names, and identify the children, and then they will sort something out for you. They are standing on that side, please. So, all, and if you've got a child who you think is missing, 